Hello, my name is Fajar Purnama and in this video I'm going to wrap up my cryptocurrency for set how long I took to earn them daily or hourly in the previous video I did it on my laptop now I'm going to show you how I did it on my phone oh, forgot to okay now let's start here it is this is my website oh, okay I already got started straight away so just a spoiler it took roughly 20 minutes for doing everything on my mobile phone I'll give a link below of my of the list and so I started from the is this the easy one first no I start from my favorite one first so I'm claiming I'm clear I'm, I'm trying to test my luck on free doggy coin and this one of course the price for a jackpot is over $100 but for the minimum price is not so much as you can see it's quite difficult to get just above the minimum the minimum reward now move to far for set is a combination of daily bonus and auto that accumulates and also a, a for set that is hourly so now, so here I'm trying to accumulate the first set hourly. Get the reward. And again this much. And then next. Okay. Didn't already do this. Yes, I, oh no, I haven't. okay and this one is easy pit mix just click and everything is over and then quantify my most favorite for set side interesting interesting interface animations and the best multiplier and easy ptc ads by clicking ads watching five seconds and get some coins and many other uh, task to gain some coins okay this one I have problem with the IP so if it be so next up is the for set list that test your luck so this one is the easy capture why I say it's the easy capture so to roll there is almost no capture for most of the time just click and then it's rolling and now keep on moving to free name free BTC and now I'm moving to free Cardano and then click and then close the ads and then click and then steam oh no I forgot this one is and click so this one is free the Bitcoin roll and now finally I will see the result of my roll uh, this one not lucky this one not lucky and uh, Cardano not lucky and free name not lucky and this one saw resets hourly as you can see that if you're lucky you can get the maximum price of three hundred dollars but most of the time it's very it's difficult to just get above the minimum payment of um, 0 0.3 cents okay next is the regular capture so why i said it's regular because you have to go to some capture each time like this one when i want to claim this one bonus bitcoin this one is every 15 minutes which you can claim an average 3 to 6 satoshis ok 
okay and that's that and i'm moving to free 3 ethereum that i owe so why i say it is a normal captcha because you need to do some normal captcha click and click but there is also some ads and then the roll okay not lucky okay so this one i haven't done or did i for did i for did i forget great so just close all of them and do it quickly click the mountains and seal to get some free bitcoin cash all the number okay not lucky now get some free coin cash, the uh, free Z cash. And close the ad. And near the lock number 9000. Sometimes I get yet the second lock. Getting above that never. My lucky streak is like uh, 30 cents or something, I forgot. But above that, like a dollar or even more, is uh, never. It has been like uh, two weeks and no luck since then. And at least I do it daily. And if I'm available on my laptop all the time, I do this hourly. Yeah, free Ethereum, free Digibyte, free Bitcoin, free Bitcore. And if you ask me why I'm doing this, when the price of Bitcoin drops below 9,500, I actually wanted to buy because by looking at the news at the Coke Bar, I put my stance that Bitcoin will temporarily win. I mean, for now it will win. And, the, and I believe that the value of Bitcoin will significantly rise. No, actually I, will, I believe that it will drastically rise. Even though I knew that and... No, even though I believe that, if I believe that I should be buying more Bitcoins, but I didn't. Why? Because, not because I don't want to, but I cannot anymore. So most of my, uh, I don't have enough more i don't have more wealth to spare to put into more into buying more cryptocurrencies and therefore what can i do so one of the way is to do this cryptocurrency for sets so even though i'm paying these administrators my traffic my time and they get some cash but this is one of the way and the easiest way to accumulate coins the other one is i'm mining even though it is at the cost of my electricity and internet but i am a supporter of cryptocurrency so i'm willing to pay to to fight for this cryptocurrency and i'll be doing more so this one i so this one is the hot ones that i have to log in every time so login get the username and so ever it's called btc pop which is a site where you can invest you can stake you can even loan some bitcoin with other people But here I just go straight to the faucet and the, the good part is there is a lot of variety there is a variety of coins you can choose to claim every 
30 minutes which is 404 because the name is interesting And next is Crypto Scorch. Well, I said this one is categorized as hard because you have to go to many short links. So here you're redirected to the short link first. Then you have to wait for five seconds, which takes some time. So while I added, I opened the sites, the moon faucet site, which accumulates over time. And see this one, I'm taking long. And finally, after I skip this ad, many advertisement opens. And even after that, I still have to do a captcha. Then finally I get some coins. So I accumulated up to 30 cents till now. Next is I... This one is one of my favorite, one of the best because I don't need to claim them hourly, just once a day. Because just leave it as it is, it will accumulate over time. Well, it, you don't have to do it every day. You can do it as long as you want. It still accumulates but watches every day because they have a daily loyalty bonus which will increase every time you claim daily. And once a day to do and once so actually claiming the hourly is finished which I took like uh, 10 minutes to claim. So the next part is to claim the is how um, is how much time I spend daily for the faucet. So every hour I spend like ten minutes to claim the previous faucets. But now for the one that accumulate, I spend an extra ten minutes. But it's only once a day. That is that so let's play another music on YouTube what did I play okay next is one next is the moon Bitcoin and stuff so well yeah that's everything so while looking at what I'm doing well what else did I want to what kind of story did I do I want to tell Well, I said that I want to accumulate as much as possible, yeah. I accumulate through faucets, through mining, through trading, that's one of the most difficult way. Trading is very difficult. You have to look at the news, you have to see the chart, and most of all, you have to be lucky. You have to have a good feeling and that is what you need to do to increase your probability of winning a trade but the other thing that you need to learn is how to cope with a loss you need to learn how to stop loss so if you so it's about managing your risk if things doesn't go the way as you want the uh, the direction of the price, the value, what you bet on is against you. Your time is an unknown factor. Is, but at least I know that the more time you spend against the bet, the riskier it gets. Because the probability that it will always go against your bet is always there. 
so there are two way there are two perspective to see do you value cash more or do you value cryptocurrency such as bitcoin more if you value such as bitcoin more so if you value cash more yeah, as usual or traditionally uh, when trading cash is what you want to hold it doesn't matter if the price go up and uh, if the price goes up what you need to do is to find an opportunity to get into the bitcoin or cryptocurrency and then exit as quickly as possible but and when I said exit as quickly as possible is to prevent yourself from losing as much uh, to losing more cash but if in the other hand on the other perspective if you to if you value bitcoin or cryptocurrency more then you should be what you want to hold is uh you what you want to hold is bitcoin and cryptocurrency than cash so in uh, exchange avoid selling your bitcoin as often as possible hold as long as possible for example on bitcoin when the price rises and you think that it is the peak of the FOMO you are willing to sell but different from the traditional way when you are selling your bitcoin you should be terrified or scared because what happened if the price the value of bitcoins rises you will miss the ride so only sell when you think there is a profit and then stop your loss like if the when you sell and the price actually rises be very careful or think hard it's bet is it it is better to shop your stop your loss and then buy bitcoin again then miss everything of course if you value bitcoin more if the price if the value of the bitcoin goes down it doesn't matter because the amount of bitcoin you hold is not decreasing so the so your objective is not to to hold less bitcoin but to maintain the amount that you have and to try to gain even more and I'm that kind of person I don't mind if the price drops but when I sold the Bitcoin I'm very scared that the price will rise and when the price rise and I missed out I feel very sad but when the price of Bitcoin compared to the dollar or the fiat currency uh, drop for example from ten thousand dollars becomes eight thousand dollars I don't mind it becomes seven thousand dollars I don't mind because I have faith and I believe that uh, Bitcoin is more valuable and these are saw another easy side but sometimes I catch a problem where you can claim daily and the rate is shown on the bottom of the page and stuff and the story that I haven't finished is that rather than buying, holding, mining, doing this for sets and doing this video socializing about cryptocurrencies another way that I want to support cryptocurrencies is not just to hold them but I'm going to spend the cryptocurrencies in buying some items there are online shops up there or some sh local stores I can buy some electronic devices using Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies 
I have videos of them previously then I bought some Moonlander and, up, and other than and in the future I'm going to buy a USB so that is it this is how this is how I spend my time on my mobile on Kremlin's cryptocurrency for set to finish to finish my story other than buying some items I also pay for someone's course pay some fees payments and for some product and service and in the future I dream to be a merchant and I want to accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency as payment so please pray and your wish and hope would be the best for me so thank you very much